E money. Do you have the need? The need for speed. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Bonafide Hustler here, and today we're gonna go to garage sailing with E-Money and my wife. Should be a really fun day. Let's go! What's going on guys? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the outside of my spaceship. I'm underneath my space tree. Oh, beautiful tree. Beautiful, beautiful. We're about to, I lost my train of thought already. Guys, I just started and I screwed the whole thing up. All right, we're gonna go garage sailing. You money. We're gonna go garage sailing and you're not late today? Unbelievable. No, not at all. As I was getting ready, I couldn't stop thinking about like freaking chim chims staring at me in the mirror. Yeah, so we had some names for E-Money from the last ride along, and I think the best one was, you look like the monkey from the Speed Racer. <laughs> it's like, like the... the Chim Chim guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like sporting the elf thing, man. For anybody that follows oh, my elf, Instagram, man. dude, this guy's like super elfing it out every now and then. If yeah. he has like a, what does he call it, like a bonnet? Yeah, and no, it was a, 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 a beanie. beanie. A yeah. Beanie. Some pretty sweet shoes there for an elf. You guys want some cookies? Yeah, this dude's like pro elf now. <laughs> Super pro elf. E money is free. E money is a free elf. <laughs> <laughs> so enough of that. Yeah, we're gonna go garage selling here in a second. There's a 7 a.m. right down uh, the street, kinda. Well, kinda. And we'll just try to make the best out of it. And if we can't, you know, the weather's kind of eh. Maybe we'll some thrift. Maybe we'll do. <laughs> maybe we'll do some thrift stores as well. All right, let's go hit the road. We got. <laughs> my own video is like on my Bluetooth. Okay, so about to take off. Whitney's here. What's up? And uh, let's see what we find today. It's kind of drizzling, but uh, we're gonna give it our best shot today. We're gonna hit it with our best. We're gonna Pat Benatar this thing and see if we can find anything because it's Saturday. Should find some cool stuff today. There are probably six sales. Six sales to look at Emerson, something like that. Someone's scootering in our neighborhood. Out of here. Shut up. But not like one of those bird lime scooter things. Are you sure? Pretty sure. It would probably help if I do this. See? He's scootering. Scooter! Got e Money Tom Tom GPS back here and. Chim Chim GPS. Chim Chim GPS, yeah. He's a. Uh, Telling you, man. The other, the other uh, thing that we got yesterday or the other day regarding E Money's look. So people think he looks like an elf. He look, they think he looks like Chim Chim from Speed Racer, and then they think he. Uh, oh, there's a double bob stroller. Are you kidding me? Oh, what? <laughs> a double bob stroller. Jeez. And the other one was Some 2011 kind of Lino Thundercats, which was dead on. Some All right. Kind of backpack carrier. I see a backpack carrier. Uh, bob. Wow. Let's get in this one real quick. Whoosh. Okay, so I did find something at that garage sale. Basically, 50 cents free. Got this five gallon bucket. Hey, I need one of these things, all right? Uh, two J. Crew shirts. Pretty cool. So you can go to little parties with these shirts. There's two different colorways. Um, <laughs> and it looks like we got this thing for $60. It's probably going to be. <laughs> what? What do you think, Emerson? 150 Yeah. Something like that. 150 in town? All right. <laughs> do you want to show them how to yeah, collapse? this is how you collapse a bob. Okay. See these little tabs? On both sides, you like that. Front, you pick up the red tab, and then, and then straight up. You have to jostle it. You have to jostle it. I know. Dude, e money, you have like no strength, there. dude. Right there. There. Done. Gosh, e money, you need to go to the gym. What? Here, you do it then. This, I could have done it. Without putting your foot down there. Whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have oh, done it. Okay, sure. Could have done it. Sure. All right, let's get in here. Good profits, man. Have you flipped a double bob before? Yeah. And how'd that go? Uh, I was the one that actually picked it up underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> when he was like, hey, you know what you guys are? What are we? There's random pots sitting in the middle of the yard. <laughs> there's so many of them. Look at this crap. <laughs> there's, there's only one dead plant in it. There's a dead, yeah, there's, there's one dead plant. There's a dead plant in that one. But look at all these like, <laughs> random pots in this yard. Hey, that's like the ultimate zero scape. And there's it's like all rock. two right there. Total zero scape. That's so weird. Ew. Ew! Hey, money. Look at this like wall of this house right here. Whoa! Look at this house. Weird. 
gross. Super dope. What's wrong with it? It's got Gosh, random it's rock got, everywhere. Yeah, Look at that it's random. It's so random. It's a don't it's cry like, from oh. an Argentina house. Oh. <laughs> we are running down a dream. We're also pulling up to a coffee. <laughs> oh, it looks it? super cool inside. Dang. Look at this coffee house, dude. All right, what is this place? It's so tiny. In case it's really good. What is it called? Uh, Cypress Creek? I think so. Oh, this looks great. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is a really neat coffee shop. Very cool. Hello. <laughs> so the funny story about this coffee shop is very peculiar because we do, you know, Cortados and Dopios and bought her coffee for her. They charged us Three ninety-five for everything, which in Austin we're, we usually pay anywhere from eight to ten bucks for like this whole yeah. setup. That's just the way it is. So three ninety-five is exceptionally cheap, which makes me think maybe this is not a good cortado. Yeah. So Imani, it, cheers. It doesn't really smell like really good. Cheers. And did, how was your drip? Was it okay? I didn't taste it yet. Well, cheers. It's gotta cool off. I'll cheers you with this. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. So. Ah! Oh, oh, shit. It's a one off. It's really not that good. You just did two ahs though. I know, it was like a one and a half. It was a 1.75 repeating though. Um, yeah, it's not that good. So yeah, uh, you know, I can't super recommend it, but it is what it is. It'll wake me up, which is good, and that's what we're looking for. We're actually looking to kill a little bit of time before some eight o'clock garage sales, which we think are gonna be really good and are not too far from here. Let's get down the road and check that out. All right, next garage sale is right down here. I suspect this is gonna be a pretty good one. And uh, if I had to put my money or my day in hopes and dreams and everything, marriage, future kids on something, I'd put it on this garage sale. What? <laughs> I would too. Yeah, you money, wouldn't you? I would too, it's the best one. The lingo looks good, I'm telling you. We're really big on looking at the lingo. All right, the way that the actual ad has been constructed, the way they describe their items, and I think this one's gonna be really good. We'll see if I'm right, and judging from how much I've been talking about it, it'll probably blow up in my face, but that's okay. I just think it's gonna be good. Well, I guess you're gonna lose your marriage then. <laughs> Shut up. What about, our, what about our future kids? Let's have the kids first, and then we can have a divorce. No. This is the one that I've bet everything on. I'm basically like, Blowing on the dice right now. Here we go. I'm about to throw it on the table. It does look pretty good. There's some stuff. I see a Phil and Ted stroller, which is a good stroller. Ooh. All right, let's see. So, are we getting a divorce or what? Are you gonna take me back? Or not? <laughs> you can take me back, please. Please take me back. I will never do this again. <laughs> I promise. This is worse than a strip club and getting busted like with an affair and everything. Oh, this is like, this garage sale sucks so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my God. And they're bringing out more bad stuff. Like constantly, I'm looking at it. They're flooding. There's like a tidal wave of terrible items coming our way. <laughs> and I have the biggest surfboard to ride this wave. I'm like literally surfing the wave of terrible items. E-Money, yeah. you should have told me. You should have warned me. Now I'm going to lose my marriage, E-Money. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to sell this double bob. <laughs> you're not gonna have the kids. I'm not gonna have the kids anymore. <laughs> sell the stroller. Gosh, I can't believe how bad this. There's what like, the oh, there was one. There was one promising item. It was a pair of gloves that I was like, oh, cool, I could cut some wood with those gloves. I'm like, ah, cut no. some wood. <laughs> but I didn't even pick them up because I was just like so frustrated with the whole sale. <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's go to the next one. Why are they protecting all this stuff with like a blue thing? It's all terrible items. Like, who cares if it rains on it? It'll probably make it better. Pull on out of this neighborhood. We saw a bird of prey. I want to see it. Oh, whoa. There's a falcon right up there on the... Wow. He's really pretty, too. Let's show the peoples. Oh, there he goes. See you later, falcon. Next garage sale right here. Uh, since I have no more marriage to bet it on or kids, looks like uh, it's only uphill from here, guys. It is. Oh my god, I just got my marriage back and my kids. And I'm all, my unborn kids are gonna be born now. All right, so found some really good stuff. 
It was just in a box. I thought it was Justin Boots. They were all sitting in this Justin Boot box. Check this out. This is a really good score. Ebony, bring this thing up here. Because right, none of us can see it. Did you see the Disney one? Here, no. There's, oh. some, there's some killer, killer things in here. All the right. Disney one. It's heavy. This is such a heavy awesome. Box. Check this out. All right. Inside, not Justin Boots, all belt buckles. Look at this. And these are awesome. Look at this one. This one right here. This is what Winnie said. Look at this ski Mickey one. It's not focusing. Oh, is it? There. All right. So look at this one right here. Here's the Mickey one right here. Your we camera. have so many nice belt. Look at this Alaska one. Oh. Dude, some turquoise so nice. stuff. Oh, they're beautiful. I might. Oh, that one's one. awesome. Yeah, that's, that's super cool. Fine. Yeah, there's so many nice belt buckles. I paid 20 bucks for this. Hawaii dollar. Oh, mm. in the booth, this is. Uh, I mean, this is easily probably like 300 bucks Pony pretty quickly. Pony Express. Yeah, there's just so many. Where's the one that he was? This one. Confederate States. Confederate States. Look how heavy that thing is. That's pretty I'll nice. Get up right now. Anyways, so oh uh, this gosh. is about collectively in my booth, probably around 300 bucks because I can price each one 20 bucks or more and sell it in my booth. So we're going to go through almost every single one of them, make sure that it doesn't belong on eBay. <gasps> but this is a super awesome score, like a, like a super wood score. Inlay. Wow. Like 1898. Yeah, that's cool. This one says Shalom. Shalom? E money, that's a Jewish thing. Shalom. Right? Yeah, Shalom. Oh, no, okay. That's cool. Cool. I got my unborn kids back. I got my marriage back to normal. Here. That was awesome. All right, next garage sale over here. I am definitely not going to bet the kids or the future marriage on this or the future kids and the marriage. I'm not going to bet it. I don't feel like doing that right now. I got my marriage back to normal. My kids are good. My future kids are good. I'm not betting that on again on that stupid garage sale. I learned my lesson this time. Yes. Oh, there's a Nerf gun. Oh, that double Nerf guns here, Emerson. The white one? Yeah. Oh, the double Nerf guns there. Dude. Oh, the Mega ones are here. What? All right. What are those doing here? The boys are trying to strike up a deal for all the Nerf guns, and I swear there's like five tubs. From this garage sale, we didn't buy anything, but this guy has probably the most extensive Nerf gun collection we've ever seen in a garage sale. Even the robotic drone Nerf gun thing, the dual blaster thing with drums on both sides, the most Mega. Uh, Nerf guns, the Rival series Nerf guns as well. All that stuff is in there, and uh, he wants how much does he want? Any money? Two hundred. Two hundred. Yes, yeah, too much. Anyways, you know, it's pretty cool to see all of this in one sale, though. Honestly, um, let's go to the next garage sale and see if we can find anything there. I'm gonna go to an estate sale. I'm actually gonna go to an estate sale because I hardly ever do them, and it just seems like the best bet right now. So we'll see. I'm probably gonna get spotted here more than likely. I bet. E Money's staying in the car. He's making me wait in line. I don't know why. What a jerk. But we'll see. Could be good. It's going to be probably a hunt. A million people in line. Look how many people in that line. Holy crap. Did we find some crazy deals here? Holy crap. I spent 52 bucks. E Money, well, that's with E Money stuff. Look at all this stuff. Perfect for the booth. All kinds of wild things. We'll show you in one second. Let me just kind of show you this. Got it, Emily? All right, so look at this uh, kind of jean jacket, long looking thing. Oh, that was sick. All this was 52 bucks. So I can't tell you what individually everything was. It's a size medium. We got that thing. We got this awesome like satin jacket. I have no idea what it means or anything, but it's cool. Got this cool kind of 80s looking, I don't know, like a bowling kind of tee. That USA denim looking whatever the hell that thing is. <laughs> a Logo 7 Texas Longhorns. A little bit of pocket damage right here on the inside, but still Logo 7 pretty nice. Uh, one of the older ones. And this back-to-back -back 1994 Rockets uh, shirt. And then a satin, another satin jacket that has some pretty cool junior high stuff on it, whatever. So that was the first thing. Got these horns right here, another shirt. Even when you got this thing with a bunch of pins on it. Look at that. And then we got a clock under there. And then this hat, which I should not be squishing. Dang it. This hat's pretty cool. It's like a little lightning bolt KC hat. Pretty nice. So all that and this, look at this, Texas Longhorns vintage hat with a tag for the store on the top of it. That's pretty cool. That'll go do really well in this town. A Nylint uh, Wrecker tow truck looking thing and this radio right here. It got so much stuff. Crazy. So the resale is very, very good on this having a vintage booth and so I'll be pricing it all out and I'll probably put it in my booth tomorrow more than likely. All right, Whitney's getting the cheddar map right here. Got a tip on a neighborhood wide garage sale that's in this neighborhood. It's 
Gravis. All right. Oh, it's just got addresses. That sucks, but all right. But at least we have a lot of Bell Mountain. Okay, cool. And then Long Canyon, Alisan, all these other ones, Standing Rock. Cool. All right. This is a really nice neighborhood. We have the out. cheat sheet. This is how you market a garage sale right here. <laughs> Put your kiddos outside, $3 an hour, and you tell them to jump around. All right. Look at that. Garage sale. Let's go do it. Let's, <laughs> let's check this one out. This could be all right. This is going to be a good garage sale, 100%. I think this is the one that might have a snowboard or something that I'm looking for. Anyways, it probably is sold by now. E Money, what'd you get in that last garage sale? I got a set of Aqualung fins, rocket fins. Five bucks. I go for 60 to 80 bucks. Nice. Okay, so kind of an interesting uh, turn of events. I was going for that snowboard, which I had emailed the guy yesterday for. It was actually on Craigslist. And it just goes to show you, it actually went to a fellow reseller who was there when I walked up to the garage sale. He had bought the Burton PJ board. So congratulations, Mike, who is my friend. And I see him nearly every Wednesday at the uh, Old Lady Thrift Store. But it was a really sweet board. I'm glad he got it. And, uh, you know, it just, it wasn't on my priority list, but I knew I was gonna eventually get to it. And that whole eventual thinking thing can sometimes bite you. But I'm glad it went to Mike because Mike is a really cool guy, and uh, I want him to re I want him to resell it. And Mike and I we share some cool things behind the scenes, which we won't discuss right here. But um, he helps me out as well, so he definitely talks me up and helps me out. Uh, even recently, when I was kind of feeling not down about myself, but I doubted myself on a couple things, and he really brought me back up and you know told me, you know, do what you're destined for kind of stuff. So sometimes that's. You can't put a price on having a friend like that, you know? And so I'm glad you got that board. It's a really cool board. Um, maybe I can flash a picture of it right here. Yeah, definitely a collectible. And it's coming around kind of full swing right now, the, the whole movement of slalom snowboarding and stuff like that. Sorry, these ladies were like walking by. That's pretty much the garage sale day. We're gonna go get some pasture-raised eggs and grab some tacos. Oof. See you guys in one second. All right, we got the farmer's market in our sights. This is gonna be cool. It should be a lot of fun. We'll get some awesome eggs. How up, are you? Good, how are you? Good. You want some eggs? Yes, please. Cool. This is a lot of money. Watching, oh, that was missing. <laughs> we were watching Bon uh, Dam uh, the other night. Sure, no, you were not. <laughs> yes, we were. No, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, we were. Who's, so who's we? Funny. My wife and my You were watching my fitness channel. <laughs> Well, because I was like, this dude buys our eggs and, and he talks about them. He said he's been talking about them. In my other channel, yeah. Oh, oh okay. I couldn't oh, yeah. find it. I was like, these are vital eggs. But anyway, I was like, yeah, that's Chris. He buys our eggs. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. This is what the yolk looks like when you crack it, by the way, guys. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, and I did, cool. get, um, I did get one guy hit me up this week from College Station. He's like, I saw your eggs on Chris's. Uh, no way. Really? Like, how do I get your eggs? And I was like, come on down to the floor. <laughs> it's crazy. So someone that lives in College Station was inquiring about these eggs. They're really, really good. I think you can only get them in Austin. Or maybe even Brenham as well. Maybe something close to Brenham. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these are the eggs right here. Bugs, grass, lots of sass. You got to treat yourself right with the right stuff. We eat a lot of eggs and we have to have you know good stuff so uh yeah you're gonna have to see this guy shirt tail creek farms the best that we've found so far here in austin texas we really like this place all right at the hustler casa we're getting these pasture raised eggs that just crack three look at the color of these things i'm telling you i'm not i'm not just telling you there's a little piece of the little shell damn it i'm not telling you to buy these because it benefits me in any way i'm telling you to buy them because it's good for you and you can just see it right there look at those things they're rising up real hard so go ahead at your house crack some of your own eggs and see how much it rises like that look at the color especially because the more yellow they are probably not super good for you but yeah look at these guys nice and orange that's what's up okay so that's basically the ride along day guys i really enjoy the fact that we're here sharing this time together if you like these videos make sure you hit the like button make sure you leave a comment down below and it's all about, yeah, having some fun and being with people that you love. Anyways, I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler ride along. Take it easy. Goodbye!